Today, we're going to balance the equation of C7H8O2 plus oxygen gas, so O2, and this will produce carbon dioxide, CO2, and water, H2O. This is a classic combustion reaction, but all we have to do is balance it. I have my chart here for my reactants and the products, and I already listed all the elements that I see that are on the left and the right sides. All we have to do is just say how many we have of each starting, and then we're going to start balancing. So let's start with the left side. For carbon, I see that there's a seven here. So I have seven carbons. Hydrogens, I see that there's an eight here. So that means I have eight hydrogens. And now for the oxygen, just be careful. I have oxygen here and oxygen here on my reactant side. So you have to add the two numbers. Literally, there's a plus sign here. So I have two oxygens from here plus two oxygens from here 2 plus 2 is 4. So I have 4 total oxygen. Now let's move on to the product side. I don't see a subscript for my carbon, right? There's no subscript down below here, so that just means there's one. So I have one carbon. For the oxygen, I have oxygen here plus oxygen here. So you got to do the same thing as before. There was 2 oxygen plus only 1 oxygen. So 2 plus 1 is a total of 3 oxygen. And then for the hydrogen, I see that there's a two next door, so that means that I have two hydrogen. Always start balancing with the one that looks easy to you by multiplication. Let's start with the carbon. You always wanna take your lower number and get it to the higher number by multiplying. So one times what will get me to seven? Yeah, one times seven, right? And whatever number that you stated is the coefficient that goes in front of the element that you're trying to balance. So in this case, I'm going to put a 7 in front of the CO2s. Now, by doing this, right, we don't have one carbon anymore. This turns into a 7. But now you have to play fair. You have to distribute the 7 to the carbon and the oxygen of CO2. So my oxygen number is going to change. So in this case, I now have 7 times 2 oxygens. So that's 14 plus that one lonely oxygen over here, right? So that's plus one. So 14 plus one is 15. So I now have a total of 15 total oxygens on my product side. Now let's do the next one. Looks like we could balance the hydrogen pretty easy. Two times what will get me to eight? Yeah, two times four. And that number turns into the coefficient of where the hydrogen is. So I'm gonna put a four here. Okay, now let's just change those numbers. The 4 times the 2 was the 8, so we did that perfectly. And now I just have to get the oxygen correct. Keep in mind, there were two places for oxygen. So 7 times 2 is 14, plus 4 times 1 is just 4. So 14 plus 4 is 18 total oxygens on the product side. Okay, now... I have to balance the oxygen. Everything else is balanced, right? But I don't want to put a coefficient in front of here because then that would change the carbon and the hydrogen number. So I know that I have to put a coefficient here. But what number, right? 2 times what will get me to 18? But it's a little bit harder than that because I know that I have oxygen here. So we could do this by algebra if you want, right? Let's just say I don't know what this number is. I'm gonna label this as X. I know that I have two oxygen coming from here. So I'm gonna say two plus, literally there's a plus, two times what will get me to the total that I need, which is 18. Well, just do the math. We're gonna solve for X minus two. Two X equals 16, and then we divide by two so we get x equals 8. That's the number that goes here. So if I just erase this, and I put my new highlighter, and I put an 8, now I have 16 plus 2 is 18. And now you're balanced on both sides. So this is the total balanced equation. For every one C7H8O2, 
I need to combine that with eight O2s, which will produce seven CO2s and four H2Os. And you're done, guys. What do you think? Hope for this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for, you know, viewing this video. I really appreciate it. And I hope I'm giving you guys good quality help. See you guys in the next lesson. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.